In over half a year, the best Marvel's Avengers and its developers can manage is one DLC hero in their live service. Congratulations, finally, on your success. In effortlessly disappointing the 800 people who joined me for this war table, thank you all for attending, by the way, we share this feeling with Asset Flip's disgraceful animations, reused six-month-old content, bugs that drop players from each other's sessions, bugs spawning enemies outside of the map, you'll ask yourself who could possibly respect themselves so little that they'd unironically defend this. With updates literally locking content and removing gameplay features, a campaign that still, after five months, cannot be replayed, an ugly, uninspired, paradoxically terrible execution of a marketplace in a Marvel game, a deep dive that was announced at the end of January, hilariously, three weeks later, telling players that they need to wait another month? For what? Is there any mention of crossplay, villain changes, loot overhaul, actual endgame modes, a roadmap? No, just another archer with a bald gold chain wearing Hulk. You'd be forgiven for forgetting it's the future in this DLC because Hulk looks exactly the same. You're still fighting AIM, and Taskmaster is one of two villains in the game. In true incompetent fashion, the choice was made for two archers to be the first DLC superheroes to further underwhelm the player base, most of whom have long stopped playing this game, so I'll hereby be referring to as the non-player base. And who could blame them? When the developer's laziness is proudly displayed, I can't even hide my genuine shock. I don't have to put words in people's mouths like the people out here slurping. I don't need to flex delusional hopes and talk about content that is not guaranteed to ever be released at all. I don't need to make claims about what and when is coming. You know why? Because the fans, the players who matter, they know how I feel. It's how they feel. And some of them have been called haters for their passion too, for daring to take issue with the factually absurd handling of this incredibly lucrative property. I'd apologize for not lying and saying that skins are comic accurate when in reality they're only inspired by the comics, but you can go anywhere for shills. For somebody to roll over with their paws in the air like the bitch they are. A looter with awful loot? A live service that doesn't update? So much of this game is sad. In one sentence, sad. But a Marvel game that can't profit because of the terrible skins, uh, of, of them not taking advantage of the money printing, 80 year IP. What are we supposed to do? You got people drooling, begging for skins is too much. Pathetic is the only word that I could describe the war table's empty display with. I can't stop wishing more people gave a shit about this game other than to laugh at it so that maybe Jason Trier would, would care enough to reach out to some people that perhaps used to work on the game that could give us some insight. I've been banned from the official Discord because truth isn't allowed. I've been banned from the official Reddit after butthurt senior moderators are chasing me all over the internet even accusing me of doxing, only to have to apologize and step down? Why? Because of blunt documentation of a, a game that Defender swore would change. I'm sorry your butthole is so raw, but I didn't do this to you, and I sure as hell didn't force you to bend over. You made that choice. I'm happy to remind people of this specifically because the developers themselves openly speak about how they're staying away from the subreddit because it's toxic. And with moderators conducting themselves the way that they did, I suppose it's no wonder. But is ignoring your biggest community because they aren't sunshine and roses smart? Did you ever think, developers, with how tight-lipped you are about all the content that you should be sharing information on, that when it pertains to you stepping away from the Reddit, 
your most popular community, that you should have shut the fuck up. Had you factored in that potentially burning the bridge with the last remaining players of your game could have been a bad idea? Unless, of course, this is all according to your please just fire me from this job plan, your actions don't appear to reflect critical thought. Phrasing things nicely, blindly defending, it wouldn't have saved this game. Top streamers playing this motherfucker right now wouldn't stop players realizing how incomplete Marvel's Avengers is. No amount of advertising, no amount of marketing, or even money could counter foolish decisions set in stone not by people too stubborn to course correct, but people incapable of course correcting because they now lack the manpower and the resources. At the very least, after the Tachyon Rifts, where you just reused missions and added a timer, you should have been aware, you should have learned a lesson. Gamers don't care about next gen, running 4K, performing better and having haptic feedback. Not when the laundry list of problems that the game has boasted since launch still persist. The money now, content soon approach didn't pan out. If your intention was to assassinate your reputation, we all bow to you. We're impressed, you are skilled. Crystal Dynamics act now or you will never recover from this. And if I believed you to have a conscience, I'd demand an apology, not from me, you don't care about me, but to the remainder of the fans that you're pretending matter, that you're begging for feedback from, even though you're telling us that you're ignoring us? In the interest of your future, as a studio, be crystal clear. <laughs> At least with the fans willing to forgive you, I, unfortunately, am not one of them. And not only will I not forget this, but I'll do my best to make sure that no one else does either. There are dozens of things you could have done today to pacify and keep some people going, but you chose to do none of those things. And instead, the people who up until now have been what they consider explosively loyal and faithful are sending me messages to apologize for not seeing things from my perspective sooner. What does that tell you? To my viewers and listeners, thank you from the bottom of my heart for acknowledging reasonable discussion. It's easy for people to clickbait and overhype things for views online, but I respect you and myself enough to not compromise my views for dollars, and I sure as hell ain't gonna be allowing a brand to crack the whip at my back. I'm self-aware enough to know that, realistically, none of you are in love with me, some of you just identify with me or feel close to how I do. All of what I put out isn't Avengers related, but thank you for subscribing, and if you prefer somebody who isn't calling everything dope because that's what they smoke, or lying right in the face of their viewer base because they think that they're all children. I keep saying I'm sorry and I'm genuinely sorry to those of you who didn't want to see a Marvel property disgraced. But you need to realize no amount of faith and hope and ass kissing is going to make this better. My favorite sentiment out of the Defenders is any variation of the phrase, don't like it? Don't play it. Why spend your energy on this? And I love to remind them. Because when I didn't, Shills would have you believe that nothing was wrong with this. Now let us all bask in the six month one archer of it all. You see this leaked footage? I'm not even going to include any of that. I'm not giving anybody a, an excuse to take a video of mine down. But Maestro looks just like Abomination with another skin. You know why that's so infuriating? Because there's a dozen C and D list villains that they could have just put the model for over Taskmaster and had him be somebody we fight. So this game could claim it had dozens of villains for us to fight, but it couldn't even do that. Don't like it, don't play it, homie. People are not playing. 
The only times I go into this game is to capture footage of bugs, to see what features aren't working or have been removed whenever there's a patch. It's a shame, but it's the truth. Battery effect not working on some classes, uh, the perks not activating, this game is a dumpster fire. And anyone who tells you otherwise, they'll show themselves to you. Thank you. You are valued, you are welcome. Regardless of your opinions, regardless of your stance, this game may not treat you like it, but you are. And even if I would have done this, whether you guys were here or not, I'm grateful to have you. Here's to the future. God damn.